We've had some amazing wrestlers, guys like Mike Kravchek, Jim Harshaw, uh, Matt Roth, uh, John Matico, geez, uh, Derek Apana. But Chris, frankly, on paper, is, is the best of any of them. By the end of his career, he'll have the most wins in program history. Three ACC titles is, is only a few guys been able to pull that off, a handful, a small handful. But in our sport, the only thing that matters really is All-American plaques. He's got two. Nobody else in our program's history have multiple All-American plaques, meaning he's the only guy that's ever done it. I'd say that puts him up with the best we've ever had. I love the tradition, I love the campus, I love the academic prestige that they have here. I love just the general attitude and competitiveness of this of Charlottesville. It's just a, uh, it's a, very, it's a very unique place. You know, you come out of here alive, you're going to be doing pretty well for yourself. And uh, so exactly what I expected, and, and that's where I'm hoping to be. Chris is a pretty special kid. He's been the sort of the face of the program for the last three years. Uh, a couple years ago, as a true sophomore, as a true second year, took seventh in the country, which is extremely hard to do. A guy that young placing at, at a weight class like his was very tough. The very next year, last season, as a, as a true third year, he took uh, third in the country and was a hair away from being in the national finals. I, I had the match. I, didn't, I don't want to say I had it won because you can never count Iowa guys out or anybody who's ranked number one in the country, but. Uh, had the match, had the match, um, you know, it within grasp, and I just let that get to my head. And instead of instead of worrying about, instead of wrestling to win, I started wrestling not to lose. And I've been there before. Unfortunately, it was just a circumstance where it happened, and um, you know, I'm better for it. There's a picture of me laying on the mat with with uh, with the guy who beat me last year in the semifinals with his arms up in the air the crowd going nuts. There's a big picture on the cover of a magazine. I have it hung in my locker and it's a reminder every single day. Look at it. Look at it before every single practice to know what I have to do and, and how much worse that pain is than anything in this room that I can endure. This year, it's been a pretty interesting year for Chris because now he's the hunted one. Every time he goes out on the mat, the guy he's wrestling, it's his biggest match of that guy's career. It's the biggest match of the season. And so now it's kind of like when the guy, they come, people come in to play the Yankees. You know, they always play well. That's what happens with, that's what's been happening with Chris. He's been wrestling a lot of nationally ranked guys. Our schedule is very tough. And, and, and these guys are up for the match. I mean, they're ready. They're, they're, they're going out there uh, thinking, hey, this is my chance to knock off the number two ranked guy in the country. And, and it shows. And so he's had some really good battles so far this year. And I think it's going to make him better come the end of the year. You know, I look back and I'm, I'm not fully looking back yet because I'm still looking forward and, and I have one more thing to do before I graduate from the school, but uh, certainly I'm just, I'm so proud. This is a great program. It's headed in, a, in an awesome direction and I'm just, I'm so happy to be, that I can be one of those guys that said, you know, this is where it all started with this recruiting class, with, uh, with, this, with this head coach, with these few core group of guys who really set the bar for UVA wrestling. And that's exactly why I came into school. You know, I, I could have gone to a a school that was already ranked top five in the country with the list of all Americans that would take up the whole wall, but I wanted to go to a school where, you know, be a big fish in a, in a, in a relatively small pond at the time and help it emerge it into an ocean. So I'm really proud about that and that's something that I'll always, you know, pride myself in.